so we have a uh, midweek update here, uh, and I'm going to do these for most of my user submitted questions. Uh, and this one comes from Jan. She's asked us um, how we can set the default units because every time she starts her Vectorworks, uh, she has to go back and change the units for her page and etc. etc. So we're going to have a quick discussion now about templates. Uh, templates are a great way to get your documents set up so that when you load in Vectorworks, it's the way that you want it, especially if you're using a computer that's either shared by someone else or if you're using uh, a general computer that you might have at university or in a workplace environment. So what you can do is save a template file, uh, and the template file can be loaded by default. It can also be loaded when you start a document, uh, either from a USB or something like that. So we're going to design a template file now, uh, and there's some little things that I haven't done with my template file that really bug me. For example, one of them is that my snap to grid is constantly seeming to jump between 3 and uh, 13 millimeters, uh, and that's just every time I start my Vectorworks. It's something from the Imperial changeover. So I've changed that here, and I'm going to click OK make sure I leave that snap off. Um, the other one, as Jan asked in her question, she's constantly having to do her document settings units and change that as well. So you can see mine's set up to millimeters at the moment. Uh, for this example, I'll change my decimal precision to three decimal places. But obviously, if you're in the US and you're using inches, you can swap across to that. If you need to use millimeters, you do so in here. Now, once you're happy with the setup and the layout of this, you're happy with your design layers, you're happy with all the layouts of your toolbars, including whether you're, which workspace you want to load into by default, what you want to do is go up to File and choose Save as Template. Inside here, you'll get an option to save. I'm going to save mine as a default file because I don't actually have any in here. You might like to save it as uh, inches, for example, or a certain name that applies to the template file of your choice. And you can have multiple templates as well, which makes it handy if you have to jump between uh, different unit measurements and also if you have different applications going. For example, if you're a lighting designer and a set designer, you might like to have a default that's set up to do your spotlight package and a default that's set up ready to go for your designer package. So I'm going to leave that as default and click Save. And what you'll notice now when I go to my new option up here, instead of creating a blank document, I simply check this button that says Use My Document Template of Default. And you can see there's a fair few in here already. There's in fact some that probably already cover Spotlight for Metric, Spotlight for Imperial, that kind of thing. But I'm going to leave that on my default STA, or whatever you've named your file to be, and hit OK. And you'll notice when I load in, I don't have to deal with my margins being out, and you'll also notice that my decimal precision is probably still staying at three decimal places there. So Jan, I hope that answers your question, and thank you for leaving a comment. Uh, hopefully the good comments that I get that might be beneficial to everyone, I'll make a, another small user-submitted video for each of those. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you for the next upload. Cheers.